Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me. Team also at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing the original Omega Seamaster Aquaterra Golf Edition. Generation 1 came out in 2011. There was a second generation in 2017. This is the original Aquaterra Golf. 41.5 millimeters in diameter in stainless steel. It's a little bit bigger than than the second generation. So 41.5 in diameter, 13.2 millimeters thick from lug tip to lug tip. It measures 48.5 millimeters if we include the end links of the bracelet. Then it's 50 millimeters on the nose across the wrist with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll throw it on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist to give scale. You can see down the barrel the lugs of the case proper are nowhere near the edge of my wrist. I believe you could wear this watch easily on a wrist as small as 14 centimeters in circumference with no challenge. Put it on a strap, it'll wear even more compact. And yes, being only 13.2 millimeters thick with a sloped bezel, it will slide underneath a formal sleeve or dress cuff. The bracelet is semi-integrated. It's, it's integrated in the same sense a Rolex bracelet is integrated. There's an end link to conform it to the case, but we're not quite talking Nautilus or Royal Oak levels of integration. So no daylight visible between those parts. Then we have a bracelet that has a little bit of taper down towards the clasp as it moves away from the lugs. Center links are polished. Flanking links are satinated with the exception of their outer faces, which are polished. You can see there are intermediate sized links in there in case you find yourself in between sizes and you have quite a few links so you will find the right size. Double folding clasp, twin trigger release. You can see it's a sequential close. The logo closes a second. To release this clasp, you have to press both triggers so it can't pop open by accident. The case is familiar to Omega fans since the early 60s. We've known about liar style lugs. So the case lugs have inward and outward bevels. You can see them here inward satinated, outward polished. The outward bevels have a length to length polished facet that thins out a bit of the mid case. The longitudinal profile all the way down has been satinated on both sides. We have a somewhat crown recessed, crown guarded, sheer proof crown. The post 2017 version of this watch has a much more exposed crown, whereas the pre 2017 model that we have here, it has more of a countersunk crown. So it doesn't stick out as much, but it's also less vulnerable. And you can see it features both media blasting and polish. The bezel has a little vertical step and then it has a conical profile. Both are polished, giving way to a dial that features a date at nine o'clock in the first generation teak deck concept, which is designed to emulate the deck of a fine yacht and that runs from top to bottom post 2017 it would run from side to side and the date would move down to six o'clock so just charting the changes this watch features green because of course green being a color that is inextricably linked to golf and the environs in which golf is played we have applied indices which are faceted featuring a combination of polish and satin and the same can be said for the hands which are both satinated and polished for better contrast against the black dial base we also have applied omega logo and marquee. The dial altogether has an upscale look. Two subsidiary setting modes. The first is a time zone function that allows me to move the hour hand and even set the date forward and backwards while I travel. Doesn't budge the minute hand, doesn't stop the second hand, so you're not going to lose any time or lose the current minute there. Now, if I do wish to set to the second against a reference, pull the crown out. Now I have hacking or stop seconds. The watch features 150 meter water resistance. It does have a screw down crown. On the reverse side, we have a movement from the 8500 family that debuted back in 2007 on the Hour Vision. Twin barrels, 60 hour power reserve, bi-directional automatic winding. The benefit of two barrels isn't just a longer power reserve, it's more even torque release. So really from maximum wind right down to the last few hours of power reserve, you get very even torque to the escapement for consistent timekeeping. That's the real advantage of two barrels. We have an anti-magnetic silicon hairspring along with balance staff balance and escapement. So these are effectively amagnetic. And we have a full balance bridge with a free sprung balance for shock tolerance, all this pivoting on 39 joules. It is a COSC certified Swiss chronometer and it features the tri-level coaxial escapement. If you look carefully, you can see that there's a little secondary bridge under the balance bridge. There's a little secondary bridge for the escapement. So you can actually see the coax if you get close. It's a double impulse, direct and indirect impulse, tangential contact 
escapement. So rather than the sliding friction of a standard Swiss lever, George Daniels, who created this system for Omega, initially he created for, for anyone who would use it, but Omega was the only one that had the courage to adopt it, adapt it, and develop it. The idea here is that with that tangential contact, you have less friction, which improves power reserve, improves chronometry, and extends the intervals between servicings. Another important fact that I should mention is that it has an odd beat rate of 25,200 vibrations per hour. I used to think this had to do with the coaxial escapement. In fact, it is a group-wide swatch group beat rate for silicon hairsprings, so that's kind of fun to know. Reach out to Tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. And in case you're wondering, how is it loomed? Loomed quite well, in fact, with all three hands luminescent and visible. Reach out to Tmaso at thewatchbox.com for pricing.